rehearsals every single day. Like, my back has been just destroyed. Like, Ugh. I literally was in hysterics crying, like, every single night almost. It's been hurting so much that I have to call a doctor, and they prescribed, it's like, steroids. It's supposed to take away the pain. Help so. with inflammation? Yes, exactly. Is it better now? Yeah, it finally feels better. It's hot. Yes. So who's coming tomorrow? How many people does the theater hold? 1,500. There's not even enough tickets or seats for people. I had no idea this concert was going to be so much work. Just putting this all together, the rehearsals every single day. Remember how I told you I wanted to see a therapist? Yes. So I had a session with this woman named Dr. Bethany. She was really amazing. Just been having just all these really intrusive thoughts. Just when I'm holding Phoenix, then all of a sudden, like, some traumatic experience will come back in my memory. I'll start just thinking of all these horrible things that I've been through. Mm -hmm. I can't even fully be in the moment. It's just not fair for Phoenix just to not get the full me. We've talked about your PTSD with those recurring nightmares you had. <laughs> but hearing that she has sad thoughts while holding Phoenix is so heartbreaking. It makes me feel horrible. What advice did she give you to cope with these feelings? She made me feel better about it because she told me that this is actually something that so many trauma survivors go through. And she was just explaining to me how important it is that I be the primary attachment for Phoenix, to trust my instincts. Bringing a human into this world and being responsible for them, it's, it's scary. Parenthood is scary. Did you feel that way with your first baby? I never experienced intrusive thoughts while holding my baby, but definitely, like, nerves and being scared and am I doing this right? Am I holding her correctly? So you're definitely not alone. I think I just have to stop questioning myself and believe in myself because I've proven by now I can do anything and everything. Yes, you got this. You need that attitude. That baby needs you to have that attitude. I know. And Phoenix came to rehearsal. Oh. It was just so sweet. Just being on stage and like seeing him look up and just like seeing all the lights and the sparkles. And so cute. He loved it. I love you, baby. I love you, baby. He's not coming to the show though, right? No. It would be so dangerous. So many people, so loud. What is he gonna be crowd surfing? <laughs> yes. <gasps> After the concert, I wanna just focus on being a mom and being there for Phoenix. I know that, like you said, it just moves so fast. It moves so fast. Well, I hope you start seeing this doctor more often. What about mom? I did the first session just alone without mom, but I'm gonna have another session with this. You should. Therapy for Paris and my mom is a wonderful thing. These are two people who don't like to talk, especially about important things them having a mediator there to help push the conversation is essential. Um, you're like, Mom, now you're fixing my hair to deflect. No, I was really, it was because it was like in the back, I was like going like mm -hmm. that. To finally have the courage to do it. I'm scared, but I'm, I can't wait. I'm excited. Invincible boss bitch vibes. It's hard.